Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, what a pop from the crowd as this guy makes the walk. Such a well-rounded fighter, and you got to think when the opponent breaks him down on film, not a lot of weaknesses jump out of the video. This is a true mixed martial artist. May not stand out in any one area, but plus skills across the board, probably comfortable just about anywhere this fight goes tonight. He's an extremely well-rounded mixed martial artist. Fantastic stand-up, great wrestler, and very slick on the ground. He's worked hard to have world-class skills in every aspect of the sport, and there are very few, if any, holes in his game. So here is Conor McGregor making the walk once again, and to say he has put Dublin, Ireland on the MMA map has got to be the understatement of the century. McGregor has vaulted into superstardom, former UFC featherweight champion, UFC lightweight champion, the only simultaneous two-division champion, and has become the biggest superstar mixed martial arts has ever seen in UFC history. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan-favorite combination. for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, some differences in height and reach as well. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Kabul, Afghanistan. to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is going to go down right now. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter.
slips the punch nicely there. Oh, doubles up on the jab there, Joe. Well done. Connects there with the punch. Good knee to the body by Connor. Oh, he left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. Oh! Big left hand! He's got him hurt here. Beautiful KO for the victory early in the first. Well, Joe, we've talked a lot about his technique and how technical a striker he is, and that was really the shot heard around the world to get the finish here in the first round. Again, maybe he caught the guy cold a little bit. He didn't have a chance to warm up, but that is a huge result for him here tonight, and on the other side, he didn't take much damage. So, big, big win for him here tonight. Let's take a look at that again. And here it is again. Bang! Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop for this contest. At one minute, nine seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the no Well, doubt this man at your own peril. The notorious Conor McGregor gets his hand raised yet again. You see the celebration is on with his chief corner, John Cavanaugh. A massive, massive moment in a career that has had so many of them for the notorious Conor McGregor. Going to be interesting to see how he moves forward after another big win here tonight.